how to create a discount code at checkout on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create your own and customized discount code and let your customers uh, and share with them the code that they can enter at the checkout. Right here we are on the Shopify store. You have to set up your Shopify store. Then you have also to uh, set up the product. So the method will work correctly. Right here we are going to the uh, sidebar right here. We are going to click to discounts right here. The discounts we are. We have a lot of discount type, but we have to choose the uh, amount of w which we will go and use the code for it. Right here we have four type of discount. The amount of product, which is a discount specific products or collection of products. You have the buy uh, a product, get a product, for example, buy X, get Y, for example, buy one product, get two products for free, discount product based on customer's purchase. We have the amount of order and also we have the free shipping. In this case, we are going to choose or create a amount of product, which is the uh, discount type that we are going to use right here. We click on uh, this case. Right here we have create product discount amount of products. Here we have two methods. We have the discount code and the automatic discount. Since we are going to use a code, we will click on the discount code. Right now we have the discount value. We can put a percentage or we can put a fixed amount. It is up to you. Also, you have to or you can choose the appliance for like here we have the specific collection or a specific product. For example, here we have the products we can browse and use the promo code for this sweater, for example. And you can choose another product, which is this. And we are going to click on add. This is very simple. Right here, we have the purchase type. We have either a one time purchase, subscription or both. But in our case, we don't have a subscription in our store on Shopify. We are going to click on one time purchase right here. We are good to go. Now for the percentage or the discount value, you can put a percentage, for example, of 20% off, or you can put a 50% off or 15% off like this, or you can good go ahead and fix the amount. Now we are uh, here on the minimum purchase requirement. You can put no minimum requirements or you can put a minimum purchase requirement or amount of, for example, uh, 10 euros or it is up to you. Here we are going to put it no minimum uh, requirements. You can also put the minimum quantity of item. Here for the customer eligibility, we have all the customers or you can specific some customers that you have if you have the segmentation of the customers on your store or you can also specific some customers the maximum discount uses here you have you can limit the number of times that this discount can be used in total you can go ahead and use it also you can limit to one use per customer and this is the uh, good or this is the method that uh, the most of stores use, but I am going to put the limit number of times discount can be used, which is five times. Right now we have the combinations. This product discount can be combined with. You can either choose one of these three or all of them. Right here we have the product discount, order discount or the shipping discount. And also here we have the active dates and the ending dates. You can set up the dates from the beginning to the end or you can let it continue, for example. Now I am going to generate a random code, which is right now this code, or you can create your own code. For, for example, we have a 15% off. We are going to create a code named like this 15, for example, off. 
like this and we are good to go all you have to do when you finish everything you have are you are going to click on save simply like this this is the uh, successful uh, operation that you have you can get a shareable link to put it on the social media platforms and also you can exchange whatever you have let's go ahead and check and check the code if it works right here i'm going to view my store then i will be guided to this page we have the code for this particular item and another item i am going to click on this item i will add it to my cart we have the cart right here i am going to see my cart I will uh, reduce the quantity and then I will click on checkout. This is the checkout section. Right here we have the shipping included and the subtotal. You can, as you can see, a little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers and the addresses are created for the sake of the video. They are not real addresses so they are generated. Here we have the discount code. We can Put the discount code that we have I will put or write 15 off and we will click on apply and see if it does work right here it is calculating here we have the 15 off code right here working we have a 15% off the uh, amount which is uh, the total right here you can see uh, like this and you are good to go now I will showcase the other discounts option that you can have right here we have the discount which is active right here the 15% off you can create a discount for example the amount of order or you can put a free shipping which will give a code also right here I am going to create a free shipping code I will go ahead and put free like this and this is the code for the countries you can select uh, countries or you can put it for all countries I highly recommend you to put the selected countries if you are on a high budget for example or if you are low on budget all you have to do is to select some countries and you will be, be good to go for example if you have a low budget you can select for example and uh, the uh, store is located in the Europe I recommend you to put only the uh, shipping is free for the Europe right now we have the purchase type we can have one time purchase subscription or both in this case we are going to use the one time purchase shipping rates you can exclude shipping rates over a certain amount right here we have the minimum requirement or purchase requirement right here we are going to put minimum purchase for example uh, 10 euros this is only a demonstration you can put the customer eligibility maximum discount uses and you are good to go combination can be combined with right here you can go ahead and put the product discount and you will be good to go we are going to remove this discount and apply it so we can use the shipping for free and here you get here you have the shipping for free and you are good to go that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you enjoyed the content and hope to see you on the next one